everybody. We are gonna try this one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna try this one more time here. And um, I know that our little live chat or live video, sorry. It is like the end of the show here. And so it's been kind of crazy. Anyway, I figured I would give you guys kind of a tour of our booth. I wanted to try to do the video like Tool Time Tuesday and Weekend Jewelry School, but it didn't work very well. So we're going to try this a little different way. Figured I'd give you kind of a tour and show you kind of what the booths look like here in the Tucson Beach Show. So I am at the True, <laughs> it's the stupidest name for a show, To Be True Blue. So hey Mary Lou, welcome aboard. Um, to be true blue, I'm working in the micro tools booth and that is where I have been all week. Today is day seven of the day or of the eight day show. So it's been crazy busy. So let me show you guys a little bit about what I've had. I'm so glad you guys are joining me. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys' support. I was really hoping that we would be able to do the live Tool Time Tuesday and Weekend Jewelry Schools and it just, it just doesn't work very well. So let me flip this camera around and I am going to uh, show you guys. Let's see if I can figure out it. Can't flip my camera. There it is. Hold on. Okay. So this is our booth back up here so the show just opened but give you guys kind of an idea you guys our booth is huge it goes all the way down so what I have been working with is all of the different forms look she looks familiar I've been working with all of the Fordham tools I have a whole bunch of stuff and we have some really good stuff um, I'm not sure about the deals on Patty's uh, pliers but she's actually here demonstrating so uh, the areas that I'm in charge of is the Fordham all of the Pepe tools things like this we've got rolling mills I have disc cutters I'm down to only two of my oval disc cutters left I think I have two ring benders so they're going fast I have the shears I have the electric rolling mills you guys I actually have really amazing deals on the rolling mills I have a 130 electric combo mill so it looks just like this but it's an electric mill but here's the kicker you have to pick it up at the show twenty one hundred dollars that sucker is like seven hundred bucks off or more yeah and it's electric which oh my heavens so twenty one hundred dollars for the electric 130 you have to pick it up at the show we will not ship that then i've got this guy he's a 160 flat that's 6.2 inches and again, you'd have to come to the show to pick it up, but $300 off. So he is $700 instead of $1,000. So that's an amazing deal that I have here at the show. Of course, I've got like my ring benders, jump rings. We've been doing all kinds of demonstrations here. This is the bad boy that I own. You guys, I paid about $4,000 for mine. But again, if you pick it up here at the show, then it's only $3,100. Guys, I paid four grand. I wish I would have known Kurt before because I would have taken that bad boy home with me from this one. But anyway, so that's those are some of the show specials that I have. I have Fordham setups and I did a live YouTube video or not YouTube, Facebook yesterday. I know I wish we could ship them, but not for that cost. They cost about $400 or so to ship. And so it's definitely not a cheap thing. So I demonstrated this on my Facebook Live yesterday. It's a vacuum system workstation. You hook it up with your micro motor or your flex shaft. It's kind of a cool system. I'm hoping that I can take that video that I did and show it on YouTube. I'll see if I can upload that. So we have all these different things. Oh look, she looks familiar again. I also have a full line of Fretz hammers and stakes. So we've been demonstrating all of this. Somebody stole two of my silver bracelets. So may they have scabies for a thousand years, losers. So, okay, now that I got that out of my system, we're kind of good. Mary Lou, I'm so glad that you've got your new shop set up. You guys, these just came in. They were, these were supposed to be here all week long and they came in yesterday. And this guy, he's going home with me. Oh, Amy, it's so sad because it was 18 gauge fine silver. I mean, we're talking, they took like seven ounces of silver, buttheads. 
But anyway, this stump, you guys, the stump is like, it's only like $300. So it's that three-legged stump. This is actually a blacksmith stump. Let's see if you guys can see that really well. It has the handles over here for your hammers and stuff like that. And then the anvils are $179. But again, here at the show, if you were to come and pick it up, $450 out the door. But you have to pick it up here at the show. That's not a shipped price. So... Those are kind of cool. And then you guys can see that I have mounted onto this. I've got a couple of different stakeholders that I can use then with my fret system. So this is nice and solid. The anvil that I have here is 35 pounds, but we also have a 75 pound anvil, but he's not $135. I don't know how much he is. Lots more, I'm sure. But then look at, we've got the full line of stakes and we've been demonstrating bracelets. I've got tons and tons of bracelets that we've been demonstrating. So I'll have to take all those home and finish them up. But you can see, you know, like we've got a full setup here. So we even have some of the new stuff that Bill has just come out with. So these are like a bracelet mandrel type of a stake. And he's got two of those. He also, woo, gonna knock all my bracelets off. He has also just barely come out with these larger stakes. So if you're into large forming, then that is something that you can do. Look at that, hammer heaven right there. Ah, oh, I love this place. It's the coolest place. So this shows a lot of the different textures. So when people come in, they can look at these little samples and say, oh, I like that texture. What hammer is that? And then we can help you find that hammer. Plus, of course, it's my booth, so we demonstrate everything. Check out these bad boys. These guys are heavy. So these again are for doing larger forming. Bill has also come out with these cast iron um, annealing pans. So you fill it up with your pumice and you can do that. So there's two of them here. So if you want something, get in touch with me and then I can help you get some of the show pricing uh, here during the show. Otherwise, um, if you follow my links through Micro Tools, they actually give me a little bit of a commission. I mean, it's not much, but at least it helps support me a little bit. So if you use that, I really appreciate that. But I have all kinds of bracelet blanks and we've got lots of small tools. Say hi, Sonia. Sonia has been wonderful. She came down from Canada to help us out. She's been amazing, so much fun. Sonia does a lot of the chain mail. She works for Hyperlinks up there and so she's our chain mail guru. See, and I didn't call it chain links today. Good job. So we got hammers, bezel setting punches. This is the set that I use when I'm doing or setting my tube settings. I have just three of these little guys left for under a hundred dollars. He's like $79, which is great. So we've got dapping sets. I have Allen's books. So we've got the professional jewelry making, professional stone setting and the ring repair. Then you guys, we're, we're about halfway through our booth now. It's a huge booth. So we've got all kinds of wire, there's different jigs, there's different uh, pliers. We've got Tronics, we have Lindstrom, and there's Miss Patty Bullard herself with Wubbers. So Patty has been demonstrating up a storm down here as well. Check all this stuff out, Patty. <laughs> but you know what though? It makes it look like there's even more, right? When you just stick it all together. So we have all of this and Patty and her daughter have been down here demonstrating and we're just kind of getting the show set up. So right now we're, we're setting everything back up. Of course, we've got Gwen's riveting essentials. If you haven't seen my video on that yet, I've got like three, you, you should see those. If you haven't, what's the matter with you? Go look it up now. <laughs> and this is the end of our booth. So here we are at the very end. I go all the way down. That is our booth. It's huge. So that gives you guys kind of an idea of what we've been working with here at the show. Uh, it's been, today's, today's a little slower start. We had one day where it rained and rained and rained and we had a ton of people. It was fantastic. Unfortunately, the skies are really clear today, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that today and tomorrow are our last days. So everybody should come in and buy so we don't have to take it all back with us. But if you guys have any questions, like I said, I've got all of the, I've got a really, not the full line of Fordham, but I have a lot of Fordham. I have the full line of Fretz tools, although I am starting to run out of some of the stakes, 
but we can always order that stuff in. I do have a few rolling mills left and I'm gonna try to get rid of all of those. Uh, I do have the anvils and the stumps. We can get those and we can ship them. However, you're not going to get quite the same deal that you would get if you were to come to the show and pick it up. So we're out at the Casino del Sol at the 2B True Blue show and um, show ends tomorrow at six. So excited because I have like almost no voice left and I'm very sleep deprived so you never know what's going to come out of my mouth at this point. Anyway guys, show's getting going so I'm going to go ahead and take off. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry about the kerfuffle with the other video. I know it didn't go well and I appreciate the support you guys gave. And as soon as we get back home, obviously I will be doing those videos and showing you how to do what it was that I was trying to show you here. Anyway, so have a great weekend, you guys. Come and see me if you guys are in Tucson. I'll hook you up really well and I will see you guys later. Have a good one, everybody.